So let's make a start. So Stream Decker should already be set up with this deck, so you should be able to see that. Um, deck Master should be online as well, so you should be able to hover over the cards and see what's going on. Um, this hand super awkward. Um, obviously these absorbs need a, need another blue source, but uh, Vastus Contempt will hopefully be able to get us there. Um, another blue source will be fine as well, so got a couple of turns to get that. Teferi is obviously a good card to have in the opener as well. A syncopate's a good one. And that's going to help us early on. That's rude. Um, precognitive perception was not the one that we were looking for there, but I'm sure we will survive. And so we'd really like to see a history of Benalia here. Unfortunately, we don't. That's going to be real bad for us, this one. These things are going to get out of control quite quickly. Yeah, we just need to counter that one. Can't afford to let him basically make... That's uh, basically four, four extra damage, giving these two, two creatures plus two, plus two each, so... Can't let them do that. Isolated Chapel isn't going to help. That might just be all she wrote. We are playing best of threes um, in this, so... Out. At least they didn't play any more creatures. If they played some more creatures, uh, we would have uh, been in a little bit more trouble. Okay, that hurts. Ah, just on time. Um, if they don't have a creature here, Contempt, uh, the bigger pride mate, into Teferi Tuck, the other one, might be an answer. Um, and we're dead, so... That's fine, like, they're not going to have the Ajani's welcome into Ajani pride mate um, every single time. Or is this not the best of three? I thought the whole point of these was that they were best of three. Oh, it's this one. Okay, well we'll we'll cue this one instead, because we want to play best of three with this deck. It's great that they hide them and they don't actually tell you what it is before you actually get in. So how is everyone tonight on this fine Tuesday? Um, this hand's okay. Um, having the gate means that we've at least got an early play. Kaios Wrath's potentially um, going to catch up as well. Obviously the mana's still quite awkward in this hand, similar to the last one, but at least we're playing best of three this time, so we, we have some sideboarding that we can go to later on. That'll keep you busy for a while, eh? Hopefully about as busy as our opponent, because uh, I could do with them getting a move on. Wonderful. Let's play. I 
so this uh, this is likely to be Rhythm of the Wild deck, so um, the gate here is going to be quite good. It's going to give us an option to counter that. The, these decks are often playing Domri as well. Um, the fact they've shocked for that makes me think they've got shock if they've not played a Lanor Elf, so There's not a whole lot else you'd actually be representing with that. Um, our mana is beautiful now, though, so um, should be okay. Absorb, negate the wrath to clear up the mess, and then the perception to be able to uh, deal with anything later. Um, I'd really rather you didn't do that. Yeah, I'm interested to see if this deck's actually any good. Um, obviously, the guy top eight to the open, but I always find that these kind of decks are really awkward. The the answers just aren't particularly good against the threats, but we'll we'll see how this plays out. This is more for Stefanov's benefit than anyone else, but he's not even here yet, so. Right, so this is oh that's a tilt. Why did you come into play tapped? It's okay, hopefully we have to syncopate something anyway and that uh, doesn't punish us too much. The t old temple of tilt. What have you got for five? Please make me counter something so I don't feel bad. Oh, I would love to syncopate that one. Don't feel too bad about that anyway, because we'd have had to think about that, so we weren't going to get to perception there anyway. Hallowed Fountain, that can come into play tap, and that means that our future isolated chapels will uh, not be temples of tilt, so that's all good. Go to 16. They're not dealing us a whole lot of damage and a whole lot of a hurry, so we've got plenty of time to be kind of doing what we're doing. And the fact they're not doing anything just means we get to draw three here, so... Not sure what they could potentially have here that's going to punish me for doing this. Moment of craving. Um... Guess we can just play this. We can hold up another perception, and we've got a moment of craving to be able to kill something. So, or the negate, um, if they got something to be able to do with that. So, plenty of options, and we're not under a whole lot of pressure, which is nice. Moment of craving deals with some things. The wrath will deal with stuff um, next turn if they play something that we can't deal with, or we can just draw three cards. Post combat legion war boss. You got it. Would love to kill that one. What have you got, opponent? Try and cast something. Give your creature plus one, plus one, and death touch. Okay, so we're playing the John Death Whirler deck. This is fine. We'll just draw some cards. Now we've got Kaya's Wrath and then Absorb, so that works quite nicely for us. And we've already got the Absorb mana up as well. Do need to draw some spells, because obviously we are running slightly high on lands here, but... Angrath, that's going to get negated. I'm using the negate here over the absorb, just purely because the ang they're not going to have too many non-creatures, so I'd rather use the negate on something I know I'm going to hit. Um, potentially, we're not going to have a, t a target for that again in that game, so... Fortunately enough, it didn't matter too much there anyway, but um, that's the reasoning behind that one. Um, for this one, don't think we need the Moment of Craving. Cast down seem good. Um, Perception is potentially just too too clunky. Um, I like the Syncopate. Search is fine. Don't really need to bring in any, any of these cards, really. Um, I feel like another Kaya's Wrath is probably a good hedge. Probably a Lyra just as a, another way to block, gain some life. 
but I don't feel like we need Moment of Craving. They haven't, haven't certainly didn't show us anything aggressive. I'm expecting them to be slightly bigger. The only thing that potentially is problematic is the um, Legion War Boss. But we've got Kai's Wrath, we've got Contempt, we've got Cast Downs. I don't think we want Moment of Craving. Moment of Craving is just only hitting that card, whereas Cast Downs hitting the Chain Whirler, it's hitting other things. Um, just want my cards to hit as much as they much as they possibly can. Um, Thought Razor is probably slightly too slow on the draw. Um, obviously, I didn't Angrath in that game, but I think generally speaking, I want to be slightly more um, reactive in this matchup. Let's see how this one goes. Absorb Contempt and Teferi. Yep, we'll keep this one. Treasure map. That's a good one. It is a good one. It means they get some cards, but it also means that they're then not deploying to the board quite as quickly because they're having to spend a mana trying to actually um, flip this over. Um, so I'm okay with this kind of um, play pattern. It means they're going to be slightly slower to come out and be aggressive, so it kind of works with us. Um, uh, not having a stop there sucks. They get a free token. We've got Absorb up now, so again, they've them having to play out threats and costing the same mana as how much they've got means that they're not advancing the treasure map at all, so they can only, based on what they had, they're only going to be able to do one or the other and not both, and that's going to be good for us. Like, the, the less they can do, um, the better it is for us. Um, probably going to play Teferi on six here, because then we can untap and be able to absorb. But we'll see, we'll see how it progresses with this treasure map. If it's something where we can potentially kill the token, tuck the map, just keep them off cards, then that'd be quite nice. I obviously missed a land drop there as well. Scry to the top, that smells like a land. Ayo, how's it going? What have we got, opponent? Um, don't think I'm going to blink here. I think we can we can be patient. They're likely to have Bedevil with this, so not too worried about this thing flipping, to be honest. I think I'm more interested in just making sure that this Teferi sticks. When is the, the the reset? I think they've just uh, yeah. I think they'd actually accidentally set the timer to the wrong day. It's supposed to be on um, Thursday, so it is actually the end of end of the month um, that it's going to reset. Um, they they'd announced on I saw a post on Twitter where they'd um, said that there was a bug with their timer, and they'd said that it is supposed to end. I think it was ten a.m. Pacific time on Thursday, which is the equivalent of, I think it's 5pm UTC. Just going to counter this other treasure map, like it's going to give them a fair chunk of value to be able to do that, get some more more treasure and accelerate into doing this. Also means that if they want to bedevil this to ferry before I untap some lands, it's going to mean that they're going to have to spend some treasures. So. And they're spending all the treasures now to play a phoenix. I think I'm good just contempting this thing. And then if they play something play something scary, or it's likely to be something we can negate, otherwise we can just contempt it. So the fact they burned all their treasures on that is so good for us as well. I mean just mean like getting the map as well means they're gonna be falling behind on cards very quickly. I'm just gonna play out to Fetty. 
I have a feeling they'll have some kind of bedevil or something, but um, if they do that, then we get to untap and hold up absorb. And we find another land drop. So I think I'm actually going to shock for this. Because then it means we can hold up Contempt as well in case they have something hasty. And this also now means that we can negate something. Nope, nothing. Cool, that works for me. Okay, they just have nothing. That works for me. Cool, so when we've actually gone to the right queue, we have uh, won the first one. Cool, I don't even know what the rewards are for this. It's just gold, isn't it? Gold and some wild cards, that's fine. On we go. Yeah, that was fine. Like they're, we, we just kind of played our spells and that was good enough. So I'm not sure what their hands were. Not sure what they were doing, but... We'll certainly take the free wins. Um, I'm going to mulligan this one. Just doesn't have enough stuff going on. Um, I'm actually going to keep this one. Um, I don't feel like going down to five is particularly good. Um, we've got, obviously, five lands. Search is going to help us find answers. It's going to dig us into answers that we need uh, once we know what they're going against. So I'll keep the cast down as a hedge to aggro. Telemander. So, yeah, we're against blue-red drakes, which is... I, know, I think this should be an okay matchup. Um, as long as we don't get this search countered, um, should be okay. Discovery. So we're going to get to land the search, which is good for us. Um, and then we're looking at um, just digging into um, board wipes. Board wipes will be pretty good against this deck all the way through. Um, cast time is going to kill this thing at some point. Uh, just need to make sure that we don't accidentally take five off it. This thing does flip relatively quickly in this deck. Drake's kind of scary, so I think we'll probably just deal with that one. Um, yeah, we'll keep that one on top. Just kill this Drake while it's while you're tapped below, countering it. Uh, the Wrath's a good one to have for later on. As long as we get to six mana, we'll play through a Spell Pierce as well. So This card's certainly scarier early, just because they can churn through a couple of spells and deal us a big chunk of damage. Um, but hopefully we're just going to be able to keep keep turning through search and um, find find our answers to to their creatures. Another Drake. I think I'm actually just going to take the two for one here. Um, yeah, we'll keep that one on top as well. I think I'm happy with the two for one here and just um, clear the board. Like certainly with the Mulligan and the dodgy hand, I think I'm quite happy just clearing the board, keeping them off off their creatures. Um, Contempt's going to be another answer to a creature, so we're going to continue to like just keep them off off their stuff. If they don't have a blue source here, we'll kill this as well. They don't. Yeah, we'll keep that on top as well. We're just going to keep all the removal. That's potentially wrong, thinking about it. Um, I've thought about this too late. I should have actually used the cast down, because if they have Niv-Mizzet, in their deck, which they are very likely to do. Cast Down doesn't actually deal with that. Um, so I should actually use the Cast Down because the Rascal Contempt deals with niv -Mizzet. So it is worth noting that we are kind of weak to niv -Mizzet here because of that that play I made and uh, that mistake I made. So um, Teferi is a great draw here. So I'm going to put a stop on my end step because we're just going to murder this thing in the end step. Uh, another Rascal Contempt so we don't get punished for uh, that misplay, just going to make sure that we never trust this uh, system to not just skip through the phases, so always put full control mode on. Yeah, the Contempt was more just up trying to be mana efficient, but it, it should have just been the cast down because of that, because of the, the, the thing, because they could potentially have niv -Mizzet, um which I just kind of overlooked. Um, just trying to play too quickly. Um, another contempt. Another contempt seems good. I'm going to try and contempt this Enigma Drake just now, and then I'm going to plus the Teferi and 
then if they if they counter this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to contempt it again. Okay, so that's fine. So we're actually going to be able to untap and have four mana available so that we can contempt this Terramander. And now this Teferi is actually out of range of the Terramander flip and killing it. So that's quite nice as well. Uh, they've got an opt. So we're, I'm just actually just going to kill this in end step. Um, there's no need to untap and um, do anything with it. Uh, Teferi can tuck and Niv-Miz it if they, they draw one. So I would rather just make sure that we we kept the board clear. Certainly don't want them to be able to play niv it, hold up a dive down and get us with that. And this thing's going to be able to flip into a 5-5 and again I just want to kill their things while they've um, not got dive down mana up. That was going to cost them 4 mana unless they had another spell to flip that uh, into a 5-5. Five five. So I just kind of want to make sure the board's clear at all times. Like we've already dealt with what, 1, 2, 3, 4... Four, five, six, seven. De already dealt with seven of their threats, so just just keeping the board clear is very very important in this matchup. Uh, Moment of Craving doesn't do anything as much as it kills the uh, Terramander. Um, I just feel like we actually want more things that are doing a little bit more. Light is great because they just can't can't kill it. Kai's Wrath is going to be good here as well. Um, these perceptions are probably going to be slightly too expensive. Chromiums. Um, not amazing here purely because it's it's actually going to be smaller than most of their things and doesn't have first strike whereas Lyra is probably a better threat here um, which then I mean, leaves us at 60 um, I think we're fine with that I don't really want any of these as much as I say that they're we can kill the Tenomanders with this but it's very bad late on so just want to make sure that we've got our cards being as efficient as possible throughout the game as long as we can um, and that's what most of them are doing, so. Thanks everyone for hanging out tonight. It's good to see you. Good to have you here. Um, we'll keep this one. Need double blue to cast our absorbs, but um, yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. We've got lots of reaction. This this deck is trying to be as reactive as possible, I think. So um, There's the Awkward Absorb that we can't yet cast, but we will find a second blue source at some point. That's the thing in this format. Even though it's really easy to play a three-color deck, the mana is still a little bit of a push because of the, the cost of these. So obviously at the moment, if you look at our hand, we've got double black, double white, double black, double uh, white, double blue. So we've got to have a really wide variety of... Um, colors available to us um, to be able to do this. So obviously we've not drawn a second Hallowed Fountain or a second Blue Source, so we can't cast the Absorb, but we can cast all of these other spells because of our Shock Clans being uh, tapping for two, two colors. So And potentially, potentially Negate is worth bringing in over that. I just don't think that that's... Um, Potentially, the fight that we're actually needing to needing to do, like the Kaya's Wrath, is going to be more more important. So it depends on what they're actually sideboarding in. If they're bringing in negates and spell pierces rather than um, dive downs, then that would potentially change my um, my thought process for game three. Um, so it is worth worth considering that based on what we see in this game. Uh, Crackling Drake. Um, I think I'm happy enough just to try and mortify this, let them trade it for a dive down, and then um, untap and kill it again. Um, we're better contempting. I'll contempt it. The mortifies kill everything anyway, so... Okay, they don't have a dive down or a spell pierce there, which is really good for us. Uh, Drowned Catacombs. Excellent. Um, I think I just want to stick with Teferi. Like, they didn't have a counter there, so... Do they have a counter anyway? They had a counter anyway. Okay, interesting. Interesting choice not to counter the Vraska's Contempt. Discovery, sure.
they're not doing a whole lot here, which is fine. Like we're with them not doing a whole lot, it means we we're buying ourselves time to draw lands, hit our land drops, find some better spells to be able to cast, find the efficient ones. Yeah, it does. Um, passing through pa auto passing through stuff does give you that kind of sense, but I think that there was definitely potential where they would have rather rather use the spell pierce on Vassal Contempt and just trying to protect that, but I can see from both both sides as to why they would do why why they wouldn't do that because I've got the um because I potentially untap and cast a ferry, but Okay, a couple of land drops there is nice. I'm actually gonna shock for this. Um would like to be able to double spell so we can I, I cast Contempt and Mortify, Contempt and Absorb, or we can Counter some Insight and um, Counter something. So, got lots of options here. The Drake. I think it's worth countering this. Rather than just not draw cards, like they're they're struggling through their land drops anyway at the moment, so... Just try and treat this as a control mirror. Cool, another Absorb's good. Another Wrath. We've certainly got all the answers. Would be good to stick it to Vetti at some point so we can try and move the game forward a little bit. Niv Mizet. Sure thing. I'm going to start with Mortify. Because I'm expecting expecting the Mortify to not resolve. So I'd rather just gain the two life off the Contempt if that's what we do. Or just Wrath next turn. I think I'm just going to go with the Contempt. Dive down. Is this double dive down? Double dive down is kind of awkward. Just purely because of the number of cards they get to draw. Um, still think it's worth fighting over this again. Like, we have enough answers anyway that we get to untap and kill it anyway, so. Okay, so it wasn't double double dive down. I guess there I should have actually cast the Mortify to play around the Spell Pierce. That's probably another mistake on my part. It didn't actually affect us there, but definitely should have cast it, uh, Mortify, to play around it. Because that would kind of completely punish us. Then they get to draw an extra card off the Kaya's Wrath, or however we have to deal with it the following turn. Um... So yeah, definitely should have done that slightly differently, but... Keep needing to register what cards are actually in their deck and what we're trying to play around. Um, I'm just going to wrath this thing away. It's 8 power, it's quite large. Disdainful stroke, sure. I'm going to run this back. If they want to keep using counters on these, this is fine. Yep. Sure. Leaving shock in post boards interesting. I wasn't expecting them to have shock still in. Like take eleven here, so I go to ten. But they've not got too many cards left. Okay, chart of course gasses them back up a little. Ral, Ral's a good draw. So I guess here what we can do is that we can mortify the Drake. See what they do, and then potentially to ferry and tuck the the ral. So we'll see what the response to this is. Okay, nothing. So we'll play a land. We'll play to ferry. Assuming this is going to get countered now. Sure. We played in that sequence purely to try and make sure that we didn't die. So like if we if we'd done it the other way around, the mortify um, doesn't resolve, and they just kill us. So. We'd rather still be playing than not. Another Drake. Um, right, so we wrap this one away. That was awkward mana tapping there. Because now I really want to play this and now I can't hold up Absorb. Hopefully they don't cast anything too impactful this turn. Do need to find an answer to this Ral. Wow, been the Enigma Drake. What have you found? Niv-Mizzet. 
Okay, now we're in deep trouble. Uh, we don't need that land. Yes, I'd love to transform that one. Please find me an answer. Neither of those are answers. Well, let's move to game three. Um, I think on the play, I want Thought Erasures. Just to be able to try and interact with their hand. I think, yeah, I think you're right. They probably don't need all the Syncopates. Um, probably still want to bring the extra Negate in. And what else is... I can just cut one of these. We really don't want to draw multiple of these when we're doing that as an expensive draw spell. And with them having efficient answers like Disdainful Stroke and... Spell Pierce. Don't really want to be tapping out for that. Need to try and get a Lyra under counter magic to be able to make that good. I guess we do want the Chromium because they've got that. I guess we can cut that. Go with that. So on the play, let's see. See how we get on here. Um, this sounds awkward. It's not really got anything going on. Ugh, this one's just about as bad. This one's far better. Having thought erasure, the gate on top, that's much better. Just want to be able to interact with them early, just try and see what they're doing. Um, actually not going to play the thought erasure yet because I would like to get it around to spell pierce if possible. And obviously they're not going to play anything impactful on two, but they potentially will use a discovery here. Yep, so this means we get to land the Thought Erasure next turn, see what they're working with. We're not casting anything on turn three anyway, so... It's worthwhile us waiting on that just to make sure we resolve it, because if they have a Spell Pierce, then... It kind of just means that we're working with nothing, like we kind of want both parts of this. We want to take their card away, and we want to do the Surveil, we want to see what... See if we can dig to, dig to what we're needing. Okay, let's see what you're working with. So they didn't have that. Crackling Drake's probably the best card the best card they've got going on there. Dive down's not doing a whole lot with us knowing about it. Um the chart courses are gonna dig them to some stuff, but we can't take if we take they can they've still got one if we take one, so there's no point doing that. So I think we just want to take the Drake. Um don't think I want to mortify just now, I think I just want to find more more action if possible. Like if we can find find a land at Ferry by turn five, then that would be ideal, but Um, I don't know. I've not, not played enough of this this deck yet to kind of have a feel for for how that's looking. Um certainly feel that, that Chromium is, is good, but um Netahal's got a lot of text. Yeah, it depends on what matchups that we're actually struggling with, and uh, having not played this deck a whole lot before tonight, um, I just need to understand what 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 we're what we're struggling against to see what what we're actually wanting as the answers. Uh, we know they got a land here, so there's no point using the negate if we were trying to keep them off lands. I think we need to counter their impactful spell, which is Ral here. Godless Shrine's nice here. Shock for that, just so we can represent the Contempts. Yep. They've had a lot more card selection and filtering than we have had this game, so... I've got a lot of cards. These two don't do a whole lot based on our hands, so... They're going to need a good one out of, out of the remainder, remaining cards. Interesting that they chose to play a uh, Sulphur Falls rather than the mountain we already knew about, so gives a little bit of free information. Come on. Oh no. We have lost connection. My 
Twitch bot still Twitch still, still seems to be alive, so potentially arena's end rather than my end this time. Niv is it? Oh, it's stopped revealing the cards because I had to quit the client. That's a bug. Wow, that's a tilting bug. Like we know they have a mountain and a, a mountain dive down and rail, but we should see those cards, but we don't. That's annoying. That's one worth reporting. It's only remembering the cards in the same session. So if you close your close it down, reopen it, you don't see it. Yep, we knew about that one, so we just have to burn through that one. That one too, please. Yep, this is fine. You got another counter? You got another counter, I'm I'm pretty in pretty a lot of trouble. In a lot of trouble anyway, but go to one. There is nothing we can draw, but I'll play my blue and white spell. And we lose that one. I don't I don't think our draws were particularly good there, which didn't help. Um it certainly felt like our deck wasn't wasn't as powerful after board. They bring in a lot of um, a lot of extra counter magic that's just better and more efficient at killing our stuff than than theirs than ours is, so Like they get to take out the Terramanders that don't do a whole lot. They probably get to up their number of niv -mizzets. Um On the play, this hand seems great. Uh, I can lead on the Godless Shrine in case we're against aggro. Uh, means we get to play the Glacial Fortress on two, and then we can play both of these. Um, which pays off because we're against aggro. So we don't have to take damage. To, uh, good. Do I have to take damage to um, cast these two spells now? And then we get to un play this next turn. We'll cast these over the next two turns. I can take one here, see what they cast. I'd much rather kill a Steamkin or um, the the 2 1 that deals me two. Whatever that one's called again. This one. So we'll just trade, trade these two off. Um, I've no need for that untapped land this turn because I'm going to be able to cast cast down anyway. So play the shock land now just in case we need to um, play play like a brat. If we draw a brass, we can attempt. We want to play that next turn. We'd rather not have to pay life to do so. Another firebrand. That's fine. Our board's pretty good for this matchup. We've got what we've got extra moment of cravings and we've got extra. Extra moment of cravings. We've got extra. I've uh, got cry of the carnarium. Lots of ways to uh, deal with their stuff. So I'm not going to cast this just now. Just don't want to kill these. I'd rather draw one of the Kaya's wraths and try and clear up the mess. We're going to get chain whirler this turn. We get to mortify the chain whirler. Get to untap to ferry, draw a card, and cast down something. So, means we've worked reasonably well for us. Kill that one dead. Uh, cast a ferry. Ferry's going up. Another 
free land is nice. I can actually technically cast Chromium in our next end step if that's what we want to do. Don't know if it is, but we certainly can do. Is this a shock on me, or what are we doing here? I'm trying to cast something. Yeah, shock me, sure. Just gonna kill one of these now. I just feel like they're gonna try and burn us out, so. Try and leave us a little bit higher. Just a little bit. Skewer me, go to four. Wizards Lightning me, go to one. Um, tuck that thing so I don't die immediately. Burn me to death. Steamkin, yep, that doesn't kill me. You slow rolling the kill? Wow, you slow rolled the kill. Like I was tapped out. So, sure. Right. Moments come in, Cry comes in, um, Lyra comes in. I like Thought Erasure on the play. Um, the gate's a little slow, they don't have that many impactful cards. And chemistries are too slow, these things are too slow, that's too slow. Um, Mortify is probably not efficient enough, we've brought in more efficient um, efficient equivalent spells. Um, probably just one syncopate. It's potentially a search, but I guess we want to actually turn through searches to try and hit the hit the cards that matter. We want the extra Kaya's Wrath. I guess we can bring the extra Kaya's Wrath and just cut another syncopate. It'd rather be slightly more more reactive. So I'm assuming you've actually been playing quite a lot of uh, Arena, Stuart, seeing as you've uh, been firing up some drafts. You don't often do that. Okay, so we're looking for lots of lots of moments. Um, this hand's this hand's awkward with the Teferis, but search with two lands and a Lyra is is kind of what I'm looking for. So we'll have a go with this one. I'm going to lead on search. It's going to dig us the same number of cards as Thought Erasure, but I just want to get it down early. You can Thought Erasure next turn. Firebrand, sure thing. Go to 18. So we're just looking for lands. Thought Erasure, you, what have you got? What are you working with? Frenzy and Banefire. Let's take your Frenzy just now. Let's leave that land on top. Pyromancer, that's a good draw for them. Leave that one on top. So we're going to go to 10. I guess we could potentially go to 7. But Lyra is just going to be a brick wall. They need a, they'll need run runner land to be able to even think about dealing with it. So hopefully we hit the land here. Perfect. Okay. 
play the Angel of Doom. Banefire for four, Firebrand it. That's your other option. Yep, this is fine. So now we're not taking anywhere near as much. We can start tucking these things. Uh, certainly don't want a second search. Uh, Teferi's definitely on tuck mode. Just make these things go away, give me as much time as possible. We'd really like to find an Absorb sometime soon. Absorb is definitely where I want to be at in this matchup. Pyromancer, Pyromancer. Yeah. Go on, give me an Absorb. Moment of Craving, that'll do. So, Teferi. Can move to the next turn. Kill that, go to five. Pyro match is gonna put me to three, dead to any three damage burn spell. Steamkin, that means we might not be dead. Pyromancer still means we might not be dead. My bad. Oh, is that doing enough now? Don't think it is, is it? We need to find a wrath. That's awkward. That's not a wrath. To thirty two. doesn't do anything sure we died we didn't draw absorbs quick enough but that happens gems 40 gems that was going to be a mythic that I've already got four of that's nice um, yeah this deck's a bit weird like I'm not not sold on it it's certainly not got certainly didn't feel particularly powerful at any point in those games. Um, like, obviously, against some of the... Yeah, Red, red kind of doing Red things, but we're, we weren't doing anything... Didn't feel like we were doing anything particularly powerful. Certainly not more powerful than what our opponents were doing in those two matchups. Um, Chromium's just, like, it's fine, I guess. I think what you were saying was that Nezahal's potentially better. That I could definitely see that. Chromium just, even when we, like... There was at no point where I wanted to draw the Chromium because it was never actually going to like win me the game. Uh, Rassic Contempt is obviously good, but it's kind of all the ma all the removals kind of clunky. Just doesn't really work. The mana is a real push. Like Absorb into Kaya's Wrath is is rough. I mean, the games that we've played, like we've struggled to get our mana online just because we've not like for some reason we're not playing a f why aren't we playing our full sets of Shocklands? Like we're playing extra basics. Like surely we should be trying to maximize our our uh, dual land so that we can try and actually cast our spells because that seemed to be the problem there is just actually casting our spells um right let's let's try something different because I, I didn't wasn't feeling that at all i did import some other decks this seems uh, no it wasn't this one i liked which one was i liked this one this one seemed a little bit more my pace. Um, so it's got Growth Chamber Guardians. It's got Absorb still. Um, it's got Frilled Mystic, so it's still a little bit of a push on the mana, but not quite to the same extent. Um, 
and then we're just playing like a flash game. So like you're playing playing cheap spells, got some quenches to engross spirals to kind of interact to like do stuff early, and then we're just trying to win the game with some big flash creatures. So oh, let's try and try and do something with this. Yeah, the removal the removal is fine. It's just clunky the way that we're actually trying to. Um, the way the games are playing out, you just need to draw your right removal in the right order. Um, the, the spells are obviously very good, but it's just the, the mana working with those spells is just awkward. Um, so yeah, let's try this. Let's run this through the... Let's go and run this through the, the ranked queue just for a couple, get a hang of it. Made it up to, to Mythic off stream, so that was that was nice. Um, nope, not keeping that one. Want more than one land. Um, this one's better. Conquistador. So Temple Garden and Breeding Pool into Glacial Fortress means we can cast Absorb on three, so if we draw it, um, Angel's probably going to be reasonable here. I'd imagine that we're going to be, uh, our life total is going to be under a little bit of threat, but we've not done a whole lot so far, so I was expecting a two drop out of them. This is potentially a Judy deck. I don't know, maybe we're just playing Vampires. Yep, go to 16. Okay, well, we're just going to get to settle them on, on 4 at this rate, which is fine. Like, I would rather we had some earlier interaction, but we've not just drawn that half of our deck, so... Settles into Angels is probably fine. Go to 11. Call to the Feast. Oh, well, they're going to get a lot of lands out of their deck, but... That's about it. Sanctum Seeker. Well, I'm going to lose five life, uh, six life, and then everything's going to go away, so. Please send these things away. You can have a lot of mana. Banish them. Yep. It's like we take a chunk, go to five. Get another follow up, we've got another follow up. We could be in a little bit of trouble. So that's gonna be another three life loss. Just have to hold up hold up this other settle. Hopefully we don't have anything else. Have a chunk of mana though. So I'm going to two here. Their stuff's going to go away again. All right, what have we got? Danto Vanguard. So, realistically, we just want a land. Land's going to let us Angel of Grace here, which is nice. Blocks this nicely. Means that we can start trying to apply some pressure. Can potentially play Growth Chamber Guardian afterwards as well. <clears throat> Try and start turn the corner. We're obviously up on cards. We just kind of need to live long enough to make the most of the advantage. Yeah, the art's very similar to, to Shadows, definitely. Wherever it's gone. Yep, 
So Angel's nice here, because even if they have a removal spell, we don't die, so... Uh, we get to make them pay four. Or they can potentially have a combat trick to kill us. Kill the angel. Just pay four. Call to the feast. That's a good one. Guess we're going to have to flash in this other angel next turn and eat as many of these tokens as we can. Going to go to one in the process. Kind of awkward that uh, if they draw another Sanctum Seeker. Ugh. So many tokens, please stop it. Where's my other settled wreckage? So we block two tokens, we go to one life. We need two blockers for next turn, so an untapped land that lets us cast Frilled Mystic and Growth Chamber Guardian. So any untapped land, actually. Uh, not, that's not an untapped land for us here. Um... Don't think we have any outs. Yeah, Seeker's life loss, so if they drew if they drew another Seeker, we'd we'd lose that. Same with the Conquistador. Awful cards. Um these things can't kill these things to gain life. Um I guess we could just hope that they don't attack with everything. We can hope they don't attack with everything. We're still on the hope they don't attack with everything plan. They might forget how their cards work. Oh, damn it, they saw the line. So I lost that game and my percentage went up. How does that work? Alright, let's go again. I think there's something in this deck. I think we just need to kind of have a reasonable draw. Not mulligan. We weren't far off in that game. I forgot to update stream decker. I'll do that after this game. Ugh, another awful hand. Another awful hand. We'll keep that one, but my word, it's not good. It's really not good against red. I'm expecting this thing to die, but... Not a whole lot we can do. We just need to play out our things and hope they don't have stuff. Ow. Firebrand. Lightning me, sure, go to eight. Not quite dead yet. Bench is a good draw. That's going to put us to six. Slaver, thanks for the follow. Uh, no blocks there. Uh, 
Got to settle. Can also um, block and um, activate the druid. Obviously not looking good, but if we can like live live another turn, then we get to dream eater and uh, bounce the bounce the frenzy or bounce a pro problematic creature if they have another one. It's definitely ways for us to get out of this. None of them are particularly good, but we have a chance. Lightning my face. Lightning my face doesn't seem good. I have to do this. Certainly the only way we're getting anywhere near out of this. Which leaves us alive. Which leaves us alive. Ah, it's just kind of awkward where I, I don't really want to do anything. Really just don't want to do anything. Cast this thing. Am I dead? Not dead yet. Um, just don't want any of those. I want anything that can potentially like pull us ahead. Send that one away. Yep, go to two. Angel of Grace is a good one. So Angel of Grace is going to keep us alive here. And put us to one. Still at one. Get to play a land as well. Nice little freebies. Another Dream Eater. Well, we're going to settle back on defense, but we can potentially, we can what, Frilled Mystic and settle the wreckage. So, maybe we're supposed to attack there just to put the, yeah, definitely supposed to attack there. Uh, Steamkin doesn't do anything. Um, risk factor actually doesn't do anything. Uh, you can you can draw three. Doesn't really achieve anything. Light up the stage. That one's fine too. These aren't spells that are trying to kill me, so. Let's play Dream Eater. So we've got 8, 13. Uh, well, we don't want any of those lands. We'd really like to find another Angel of Grace. Um, we're just going to return... Return the Steamkin to their hand to try and avoid them casting as many spells as possible. Absorb. Absorb's great. So that means we've now got two counters. Okay, let's attack with this one. So having a, a counter that's going to gain us life and a counter, and potentially this to, to mop up the board as well. Certainly, certainly not out of this. Wizards Lightning me. Um, no.
No gain 3 life. That doesn't kill me. That doesn't kill me yet. Nope, neither of those kill me. Counter that one. Unfortunately, we have to do this, and the Chain Whirler is going to put us to one and eat, eat these two Dream Eaters, which is kind of annoying. Um, but there's nothing else we can do about that, so... It means we're not dead. It means we're still playing. Yeah, this eats the two Dream Eaters, so... Need another Angel of Grace. That's not an Angel of Grace. So, I'm going to attack both of them. Because the only chance of us winning is being able to settle. Yeah, this is fine. So, we'll just eat your Chain Wheeler. Wait, the literal only chance we have of winning is being able to settle them and them not having anything. Okay, that does it. Man, we got close there. Got close. I think if I'd attacked with the Angel the, that one turn, that then means that I get to attack with the Dream Eaters for a lethal one turn. Uh, it was, I think that was really close. I think I actually had that game, and I think I think I threw it away. Not 100% sure, but it was, that was super close. The fact that we stayed in that for so long, the Angel of Grace uh, was, was literally just an Angel's Grace there for a few turns. That was, that was pretty ridiculous. Um... Uh, this hand seems great. Um, I'm going to get to go, go with Chamber Guardian, go with Spiral, Frilled Mystics, kind of exactly where we want to be. Trying another Growth Chamber Guardian always feels bad. Let's just play our Growth Chamber Guardian. We've got another one, so if they kill the first one, we're fine with it. Yeah, I think I definitely had to commit slightly earlier. It was just the kind of not play not playing both not playing both roles. Um Yeah, I think it just came down to that one decision, that one turn where I decided to not attack with it, where I should have, because I had I had the settle and I had um, uh, whatever the other card was to be able to um, kind of manipulate manipulate the game that way, but really tight decisions. It wasn't, wasn't straightforward by any stretch. Certainly I think they could have probably blown up the experiment, the frenzy, and killed me much sooner, but I doubt that their hand was entirely blanks and couldn't deal me two damage. Right, this is nice here, so we get to hold up the Frilled Mystic now, or we can Growth Spiral into Growth Spiral, or we can Quench. So we've got plenty of stuff to plenty of stuff to do here. Um, then having Revitalize means that they're highly likely at a Fetty deck. Um, the fact that we haven't seen any kind of um, other draw spells means that I strongly believe that's what they're doing. Quite happy just to draw a couple of cards here. 
Next turn having the Chemist's Insight to work with Filled Mystic is nice as well. What have you got, opponent? You have to have something at some point today. I feel like I'm just going to play out an Incubation Druid here, try and help our man on a little bit. we still got Quench up, so if they try and play Teferi, we can Quench. Um, but I just feel like we need to kind of get our mana online, not drawing any more lands is kind of awkward. I was going to have to discard to hand size anyway, so I feel like uh, using that there, yeah, and then we just get to do this, so... Go on, play the post-Quench land drop. Yeah, post quench land drop. Got you. Um, shock in a breeding pool. Gonna play a growth chamber guardian. And we could potentially go and find the last one out of our deck at the end of turn, or we can just cast a frilled mystic. Frilled mystic is lethal, so if they don't have an answer to everything then we'll just go and get another one uh if they play try and play something we'll just play the frilled mystic yeah so we'll try and play this that resolves so i'd imagine we just win the game here unless you have need something attack with everything Okay, if they had a revitalize, we could adapt the incubation druid to deal the last three points. So, um, we had ways to play around that as well. Right now, while I remember, I'm going to update Stream Decker because I know what I'm doing here. Uh, we're paying this deck. And we're just playing best of one, so I don't need to post the rest. a quick post to Twitter as well while we're at it. Thanks everyone for hanging out tonight. It's good to see you. It's good to have you here. I'm hoping you're enjoying us uh, playing some arena tonight. Playing some sweet uh, blue-white decks tonight. Yeah, I'm not sure what they were doing, but I'm okay with it. I'll quite happily take the take the extra wins. Tino. Ooh, on the play, I guess this is fine. Slightly awkward, we don't have double blue if we draw Absorb, but, or uh, Filled Mystic, but we can cast everything else, so. Settle, settle the Wreckage is going to be good against the Aggressive decks, otherwise we can ditch it to the Chemist's Insight and hopefully find something more relevant, so. I always feel like in best of one I just don't like mulliganing, even if the hand's slightly sketchy, like not knowing what we're playing against. If we play against Bat Nexus, this Angel's going to have to do work and kill them pretty quick. Um, if it's against Aggro, the Settle's going to do something, so. It's kind of awkward in best of one because these kind of decks are usually good at going slightly further up against slightly bigger decks, but... Right, what have we got? What are we playing against opponent? Uh, 
red. Okay, the full place at Temple Gardens is uh, not quite what we were looking for, but... Okay, Steamkin. So we are against red. Um, Hallowed Fountain's fine because it means that we can then start casting double blue spells, but we'd like to draw some more spells rather than uh, some more lands. Lightning Strike me, sure. I'm going to go down to 13 here. To play the Glacial Fortress, um, I think I'm highly likely to cast Settled Wreckage this turn, um, just to get these things, get rid of these things. I um, just want to keep my life total as high as possible. Target you. Please get rid of those things. They might cast spells in response here just to get the man off the Steamkin if they've got another instant, which they do. Risk Factor. Just going to take the damage here. Kind of awkward uh, with it, with that, but I feel like Angel of Great is going to try and pull us ahead here, so... Seal away is nice. Take a turn down, because I don't really want to shock. I don't want to go to four. Um, I want them to have to use the risk factor. I've got multiple risk factors. Okay, that's awkward. Um, you're going to draw some cards now, opponent. Good luck. Shock me, sure. Light up the stage, sure. Two mountains off of that. Okay, so hopefully we can find some counters for these risk factors. And we didn't find anything. So this angel is going to prevent me from dying and going to let me take the damage from these risk factors. I'll go to one. It's slightly risky, but I feel like at this point we're not going to win otherwise, so need to take some risky lines. Without any counters as well, it's like we're not, not really achieving anything otherwise. Go to one. Gonna go digging for a counter spell. Imagine they'll just risk, try and kill me in response here. Not a whole lot else we can do. This deck doesn't seem massively well set up to beat red. I'm just gonna attack with the angel. Seal away is going to have to deal with a creature if they've got something hasty. If they've got multiple things hasty or a chain whirl or whatever, then, then we're dead. Just like, we've not got a whole lot of cards going on, so... Yeah, that's fine. Uh, just out of curiosity, what would we draw? Would we find anything that would actually let us win the game? Or stay in the game? No. Cool. Dead. Right, okay, I think I've kind of got a feel for what this is doing, so let's go into traditional constructed with it now. And we're on Bant Flash. And let's see how we get on. What have we got? 
on the play. Um, I'll keep the hand with the Growth Chamber Guardian. Like obviously it's slightly slightly mana heavy again, but um, if we get to go turn two Growth Chamber, turn three adapt it, and then just draw another one, then that's fine. Angel's a nice play on five as well. Got some early plays in this hand, so can only be so bad, right? <coughs> Play the growth chamber out. Disperse my growth chamber guardian. Well, let's do that again. <laughs> Well done, you successfully time walked me. Stormfleet Spy. Remind me of this one. Raid, draw a card. Sure. Let's go find another one. Play a tap land, pass the turn. Storm Fleet Spy. Might just go back to playing best of one with a proper deck if this is just a starter deck, because I really don't want to play against starter decks all night. Might just be playing against starter decks. Well, that's a real card, so. Wow, that's a lot of lands. Let's go draw another Growth Chamber Guardian, because apparently that's the only time we're going to draw spells if I go and find them at my deck. Alright, what have you got? My guy getting bounced again. I have a feeling my guy's gonna get bounced again. What do we reckon? My guy's getting bounced again. Man, it'd be sweet if we could uh, draw some lands. What do we got? Growth Chamber Guardian. Let's just get the last one out of our deck. Because I really would like to draw spells at some point. Right, have you run out of bounce spells yet? Feel like it's about time you run out of bounce spells. Alright, block. What have you got? What limited strip? No, okay, nothing. Sure. Okie doke. Let's get encountered. Bone to ash. I'm just going to play another Growth Chamber Guardian and we can just try and kill him in a couple of turns. Sure. Ah, you milled a spell for me. Wonderful. Attack you for four, for eight. I can count. Double block one. No, single block one. Sure. Play another guardian. Play a land and pass. Uh, 
This is what I got. One three that draws a card. Sure. Man, this feels bad. Play Hasty Angel, try and get you to concede. Be struggling to find the concede button. Come on. Come on, opponent. We are roping. So, what are people playing on Arena tonight? Stuart playing some draft, even playing some some Esper control. Anyone else playing anything interesting? while we're waiting for our opponent to time out for days. Okay, so you're saying you're dead. Just in case you have something. I don't know what the something is, but... Cool. Right, we'll finish this this game up and then I'm gonna... Uh, we're just gonna move back into the best of one because it's certainly more competitive than that. Um, I feel like sideboarding against this is cheating. Oh, we got three cuts. I think I've got that built. I could actually play that after this if that's it's probably slightly more interesting. Oh, it really doesn't matter, does it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've got the whole John De Death Whirler build um, built. So we can check after this match, can potentially play some of that. Um, this hand seems great. Turn 2, Growth Spiral. Hopefully turn f turn 3, Chemist's Insight. Turn 4, Angel. Smack him in the face a bit. Ooh, Siren Storm Tamer, that's a real card. Missing lands, that's the worst. Well, I think I'm actually missing lands as well, thinking about it. I think I, because I've not got enough blood crypts yet. Drowned secrets. What are you doing, opponent? Oh, I just want to make sure this resolves. I'm gonna hold up Prilled Mystic next turn, then draw some cards, then just play a flash game for the rest of the game. Um. Sure. We didn't want to draw the card with this. No, we just want to discard it more cards. Sure. Sure. Alright, shock for this. Pass. Dave, you really like retweeting and liking my stuff tonight, don't you? Getting a million notifications. 
Um, right, I'm just going to counter this. Because I just want to get a clock into play so we can just kill them and be done with this game. Ow. Right, I'm just going to play out these two things. Then it gives us enough mana to cast the angel. Potentially flip this, try and kill him even quicker. Right, we've got 44 cards in deck. They're going to need to uh, mill us quite a lot quite quickly. So, Oh well, that potentially could do it. Right, so we can flash in the angel. Definitely just flashing in the angel. Their auto passing makes me think they have absolutely diddly squat, so. Well, that was fun. Right, let's see what we've got that we can play in a slightly more competitive environment. Oh, free free uncommons. That was Vault Progress, that one. Um, right. Index. What am I missing from this? Was I missing Mythics as well? If I was missing Mythics, that's going to be a problem. It's two Skargan Hellkites. Well, can I swap a Skargan and Hellkite out for the time being? Let's go an extra Carnival. I'm only playing it in best of one, so that's fine. Let's play some of this. John Deathwirler. Let us. Let's remember and do the stream deck a thing, because I know what I'm doing.